I'm there from OneStopFightShop.com, bringing you the highlights of the ultimate corner battles at Hair Casino Voodoo Lounge on December 2nd. Check them out. Uh, my name is Garrett Hart, uh, Grindhouse MMA, uh, Lee Summit. First round, uh, TKO, just uh, before the bell, five seconds. Had uh, got his back and just some ground and pound from there. That's how it went. Went, went pretty smooth tonight. Hey, Dale, this is Mama. I want to give you a shout out to you. You kick his butt. My name is Ronald Monster Boyd. Uh, pretty good fight tonight. I did fight a, gra uh, a grappler, which is, a, you know, a wrestler tonight. Fight went pretty good. I was hoping to keep the fight standing up yep. so I could knock him out, but the fight ended up going to the ground, and I ended up beating him at his own game, which is the ground. Yep. And I, en I ended the fight in the guillotine tonight. I'd say it's a heck of a fight with Blake Poole, title fight. First round, I came in, hit me pretty darn good. 
wilded me a little bit. I hope he'd come in for the attack. He did. Went for the shot, took him down. First time I took him down, uh, he got right back up. Reminded me of BJ Penn. So he bounced back up, took him back down. I rode in the whole first round. Knew I beat him. Second round came out. He knew what I was going to do. He stopped it. I knew he beat me that round. He managed to get the mount on me. And I just held on to protect myself. Third round, I knew I had to work and give everything I had. I sinked in a body triangle in the rear mount when I had his back, and I wasn't letting it go. He didn't know how to get out of it, and I just held on to it and beat him and beat him and beat him. I was hoping for the submission, but he held it off, but I still controlled the, the whole round. I knew I won that third round, too. Now I'm smoked. <laughs> That's all I got, man. It was a heck of a fight. My name is Chad Williams, and I fight out of uh, Grindhouse and Team Blackness MMA out of Morris, Missouri. Um, it's a pretty simple fight. I knew he had good hands, but when I connected with that punch, I, I was going to stand with him. I connected with the punch, and after that, I usually take him down. I took him down, and I knew it, he tried to pass it, he tried to strength or whatever, and I was like, he's not going to do anything. I just threw punches. I knew my wrestling was better than him, and there's nothing he could really do with the wrestling. Man, I'm really good at wrestling, so there's nothing really he could really do with that, so I just took him to where I was good at, got over it real quick.